We have a brand new Arkham game, but there's a catch. There always seems to be a catch with WB these days. It's a fucking R game. But that's not all. It will also cost you not 60, not 80, but $500 just to play unless you're part of the small population of gamers who already have this MetaQuest 3 headset. I'll admit, WB had me going in the first half of that trailer, but all the hype I had generated immediately fell into the abyss when I saw that it was a MetaQuest exclusive. I was thinking what everyone was thinking. Why don't they just make a $60 console game that most of their audience can actually afford? Because most people play on console, right? But let's make something clear. I'm not one of those idiots who will pick apart a game trailer and call the shit trash before even seeing some gameplay. This game could very well be good. But what are some things that can save or kill this game? Let's look at the game at face value. Let's forget for just a moment that every single Arkham game exists. Here are the facts. Camouflage is to most a no-name studio that has little experience in the superhero games and is hoping to breathe new life into the genre of games that has been lacking as of late. Does this sound familiar to anybody? Because it should, especially if you're an Arkham fan who's been following these games for a while. It sounds familiar to me because that is the exact story of Rocksteady. When Rocksteady came out to let everyone know that they were working on the first Arkham game, people really didn't take them seriously because they weren't very experienced and so far nobody had successfully made a good superhero game. Fast forward to the present and Rocksteady is known for the best superhero game trilogy period and every superhero game after that has taken inspiration from the Arkham series in some way. The Arkham games are the standard for superhero games. Some people might believe because of recent events and the failure of Suicide Squad Killer Justice League that Rocksteady is dead and has fallen from grace. And I disagree. Just based on looking at the history of different game developers, a failed game doesn't mean a failed gaming studio or a dead gaming studio. This should show you that credibility in the gaming world doesn't really mean much as long as you can perform and produce the best product possible. Back in the day, Rocksteady proved everyone wrong. Now earlier I called Camouflage the game developer for Batman Arkham Shadow a no-name developer. That's not entirely true as I hear that they worked on an Iron Man VR game that people seem to like a lot. So this game could be good. When the trailer first dropped I saw a few people complain that it was VR because the last VR game was only like 20 minutes long which doesn't go over well if you have to spend $500 just to play the game. I'm a bit hopeful in this regard because although shorter than normal, Camouflage's Iron Man VR game was on average 5-7 to seven hours long. I believe this should give them plenty of time to deep dive into the lore and hopefully give us a little hope for the next Arkham game. I have almost no doubt that this game will provide valuable lore in addition to what already exists in the Arkham series and I believe it could potentially fund the next Arkham game. That is if the fans stick around for WB to redeem themselves and I believe the price tag alone makes it hard for us fans to see a future with this game or a future for the Arkham games. To a lot of people it simply does not matter how much you add to the lore or how many cool details in the trailer lead to this being a potential Arkham Origins 2 situation. The price tag kills it for a lot of us fans because as soon as we saw a MetaQuest 3 exclusive we were disappointed because of the price and because they literally could have spent that time they spent making this game to make an Arkham Origins remaster or an Arkham Origins 2 for console and PC and it would sell just as well if not better because most of the world's population either play on console or PC whereas VR is kind of a new thing. Don't get me wrong, Camouflage could come through and prove to everyone that VR is the future of great games but as of right now it seems very unlikely and when you randomly switch the platform or the genre to a more expensive one that isn't tested with your audience it seems like a shameless cash grab and a slap in the face. If your most successful games are all console and PC, then why not double down on that and make a game that most people can play? VR isn't known for its great games. Why not make a $60 game that everyone wants to play? I've seen a meme going around basically saying that WB is allergic to money because whoever is running the show is so fixated on money that they manage to ignore their core audience wants and desires and in turn lose money. 
Whenever there is some kind of leak about a game or a movie that seems to be a great idea to us fans, we find out that WB rejected the idea or shut it down in favor of something else. This goes to show us that WB is simply out of touch with its core audience. Think back to when we heard about the Batman Beyond movie pitch that was made by the same people who made Across the Spider-Verse. WB's problem is not that they are trying to make more money. It's the fact that they're trying to make more money by targeting a smaller audience and blatantly disregarding the desires of their main audience. I would happily give this new game my money if it was made for me, but it wasn't. Let's look at Suicide Squad Killer Justice League for example. Me personally, I thought the game was straight, it was okay, but for most people it wasn't for them. In fact, it was the opposite. And the main reason that this game got the publicity it got was because people were whining online about how much of a disgrace the game was. Now I will cut them some slack with releasing Batman Arkham Shadow because based on their track record with managing time and resources, they have probably been working on this game since the last Arkham VR and I doubt they would cancel it when it was pretty much already complete. Especially if they wanted to add some lore that could be crucial in the next Arkham game after this one. But the big thing with that is that this game has to be literally perfect or else people will complain and nitpick and even then nobody wants to play your perfect game if it's not what they want or if it's not for them that's why you have to target your main largest audience the fans want to play a decent game that they wanted so in short just make a traditional arkham game on console and pc make an arkham origins 2 or a batman beyond arkham do something that the fans will love i'll keep an open mind always but i will be honestly surprised if this game does well Check out this video if you want to know the real reason I believe we need an Arkham Origins remaster.